Hello students, welcome again to my class and this lecture is in continuation with the previous one. We are doing John Keats poem to autumn and this is uh, today we will be studying the second stanza. So in the first stanza we read about the pictures of the fruitfulness of the flowers of the insects of the flowers and of the fruits and among the fruits there were grapes apples uh, gourds hazelnuts etc so in the second stanza the poet presents autumn in its various forms so this is in the second stanza he is personifying autumn so he says who hath not seen thee of it oft amid thy store sometimes whoever seeks Abroad, abroad may find thee sitting careless on a granary floor, thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind, or on a half-reaped furrow sound asleep, drowsed with a fume of poppy seeds. So here autumn is personified and actually personified with what? The activities which are done in autumn. So in in these lines actually uh, he's saying he's actually personified in the type of uh, greeks four pictures of autumn which are presented by the poem by the poet uh, autumn is seen like a farmer sitting on the granary floor he says who had not seen the oft amid thy store this is a question and this is more of a rhetorical question that is he means to say that everyone has seen you, that you are sitting among the granary floor. Sometimes whoever seeks abroad may find this sitting careless on a granary floor. Then when he's sitting, thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind. So he's saying that the farmer who is sitting and his hair is nicely waving in the air, winnowing wind. Winnowing is winnow is the activity. Winnowing is the activity when the uh, grain is separated from the chaff. So he is seen as a farmer who is sitting carelessly on the floor, and his hair is also flowing. And he says, or on a half reaped furrow sound asleep, drowsed with the fume of poppy. So he says that first he is seen as a farmer sitting on the granary floor and secondly he is personified as a reaper who is reaping the harvest and with the poppy, poppy flowers, this reaper is getting so uh, swooned by the fumes of the poppy that he is almost, he has fallen asleep while thy hook while thy hook spares the next swath and all its twined flowers that is while this reaper is harvesting the uh, crop he is so intoxicated by the fumes of the poppy that he has fallen asleep and when with the and during that action he has fallen asleep and then he has spares the swath and all its entwined flowers so and the third third image is that of a gleaner Sometimes like a gleaner, thou dost keep steady thy laden head across a brook, or by a cider press, with patient look, thou watchest the last oozings hours by hours. So third personification is that of the gleaner. That is, a poem, uh, the poet uh, presents this is as a gleaner. Gleaner is actually one who uh, you can say collects the uh, fallen grains 
that is a gleaner so sometimes like a gleaner thou dost keep steady the laden head across a brook that after that the gleaner has collected the all that crop all that uh, grain which has fallen in the field when he keeps it and he carries it on the head so he is or she is crossing a brook with a head which is laden with the uh, gleaned corn or the glean harvest so uh, there is another picture which is drawn that she is shown as a gleaner uh, crossing the stream and yet there is one more picture also that is now autumn is sitting beside the cider press cider press is the machine which is used for crushing the apples to make uh, ale or, or vinegar or uh, uh, anything a- any produce by apple so this cider press is the machine which presses the uh, apples and ex- extracts the juice and then this uh, this person this autumn he keeps watching the oozings hours by hours that is in the first paragraph we've seen that this is the time of you know morning time the mists and everything and now this is the uh, you can say the noon time when the work is going on uh, reaping is going on harvesting is going on and all these activities of autumn are taking place and autumn is nicely sitting and watching very carelessly or uh, carefree rather you can say carefree he is watching the last oozings hours by hours that continuously the work is going on and autumn is just looking on at, at the work which is going on which is in progress so in this paragraph or in this stanza we have seen that in these stanzas there is a description of autumn uh, in the first and the two stanzas that there is a description of the autumn especially in the first stanza and in the second stanza there is personification in various ways that is as a, a winnower a reaper and a gleaner and also as a farmer who is just looking at the last oozings of the uh, cider press so here is a brief summary of the explanation of the second stanza that autumn is directly addressed in the second stanza as the the is you and the speaker considers autumn during harvest time and again personified as a human being and the speaker thinks of the autumn of autumn sitting on a granary floor as grain is being harvested then the speaker considers autumn asleep made drowsy by the perfume of the poppies and finally autumn is watching the apples in the cider press since the first stanza gives subtle indications of being early in the day the second stanza would be midday or afternoon as autumn has spent hours by hours watching the harvest a sense of some time which has gone by so there is a progress in the time with the uh, in the poem that the first stanza is hinting or indicating the morning time the uh, the time of mists and the second stanza it is telling us about the activities which are carried on in the during the day time so i hope you have understood this second stanza and in the next session i'll be taking the third stanza so till then you read the stanza and try to understand 
the poem. This is all for today and next I'll we'll meet soon with the third stanza. Till then, goodbye. Thanks.